Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be doing some Chris Olsen style 2x2 walkthrough solves with Will Callen and Zane Kanani, respectively. Thank you so much to them for participating in this video, I really appreciate it. They are both sub 1.5 globally on 2x2. Zane has a 1.3 second official average and is and came third at the World Championships in 2019 in 2x2. Will Callen has a 1.23 NAR average and, and is the reigning US national champion. So both of these guys are very experienced and I'm honored to feature them on my channel. As for me, I used to do a lot of 2x2, but unfortunately in 2020 lost interest in it. If I get back to practicing 2x2 on a regular basis, I should be able to get around a 1.8 second global average quite easily. I'm the reigning German national champion in 2x2 and also came 6th place at Worlds 2019 in 2x2 with a counting 3.01. Fun fact, I was actually crowned the German national champion the same day that Will was crowned the US national champion of 2x2. Zane unfortunately forgot to film his solves, so his solves are after he did a walkthrough solve on the scramble. We will be doing 5 walkthrough solves. Let's see the difference between a 2x2 solver who just uses CLL and EG1 and 2x2 solvers who use multiple ALG sets, knowing AUF for a lot of the cases. Without any further ado, let's get started. I hope you enjoy and learn something new. For the first scramble, the first thing I saw was on green, you can make a four move EG two face, but it, it doesn't end up being too great. Or on green, you could also do four moves into an EG one, but then there's an angle you could hold it so you could cancel into it if you do like U R prime, U prime, F two, but then the alg starts with F prime. But what I ended up deciding to do in the solve is, what first I saw on yellow is that you could just do U two R into this EG two, but I didn't really like that. So then I also checked, uh, also on yellow, if you do F U two R U R prime, you get this EG2 case, and then there's an ALG I know from the back that it can cancel into. So basically, if you do something like F, U2, L, U, L prime, you'd get this case, and then it could start with L, U prime, L prime, U2, but then I usually hold it at the top and finish with like R2, U, R prime, U, and then the rest. But in this case, I basically held it here and did U, and then just cancel into the ALG, I did R2, U, R prime, U, R prime, and then it was just a U, A, U, F, but I basically executed like an F. So in this first one here, you see that yellow immediately, you can do that two move EG2 face, but that wasn't going to be a really good case and um, not for cancellations either. So the next thing that I was looking at was this green and red bar can be created like that if you just make that one move. And so I was trying to build something um, off of there and then I saw on sort of this angle keeping red down, I can do three moves to a TCLL case here, which is nice. It's just um, pretty much the double sexy move and then U2 at the end. For the first scramble, what I did was a two move yellow EG2 face. Like, so I held it like this and did it like that. And that would leave me with an anti soon case. Uh, I don't know this algorithm, so I just did the anti CLL and a U prime AUF, and I got a 1.7, which is pretty good for me. Though a solution that would have been better and probably would have gotten me like a 1.6 or maybe even a 1.5 would be if I did green and got um, an EG2 case that I actually know and I like, I held it like this and solved this green face like so and canceled into this EG2 algorithm. But yeah, a 1.7 second solve is pretty good for me. On the second scramble I saw on red, you could do four moves into this LEG one, but that wasn't too great. I also saw if you make a longer CLL layer, you get the CLL case. I also looked on yellow and saw you could insert in three moves and then you get an LEG one 
or you can insert in four moves and get a different LEG one and it also cancels into it. But usually whenever I see that R U prime R prime gives this LEG one, I find it faster to if you do R prime and then instead of doing F R F prime, you get this LEG one case which starts with F R to F prime. So basically from here I could do something like F R prime F R prime F prime R to U R prime U to R prime. So basically the full solution would be uh from here I would just do U R U prime R prime F R prime F prime and then just R two U R prime U two R prime and then just a U A U F. On this solve, I wasn't really intrigued by anything on red with this bar here, so I tried to look at something for yellow, and two of the more obvious solutions, um, being like R2, U, R, um, wasn't looking that great. Um, this solution might have been a little bit better, um, but it was still a little bit weird. So I instead tried to do a CLO, so I think it was more like another move or two, but I thought it was kind of worth it in the end. So um, the way I did it here was holding yellow on bottom like and red and back like that, and then doing R prime, F2, and then R, U, um, R2, and then U R prime, and then I went into the CLO from there. Okay, so for the second scramble, what I did was a yellow EG1 face, and a three move face with bar on right side to rotate. So I solved it like this, did rotate it this way, did a U2, and had this soon case with a UAUF. I got a 1.78 on it, which is good for me, um, though the solution is pretty bad since it involved a rotation and a U2. On the third scramble, the first thing I saw was on red, there's a four move EG1 face and then you get the really easy EG1 case. And then I also tried making a bar on white and red, and then I tried making a few continuations from there, but I wasn't really finding anything that great. So then something else I noticed on red is that you can make a five move CLL layer by doing F U prime R F prime R prime, and then you get this CLL case with no AUF and it cancels into it. So the full solution would basically be from here, you can just do F U prime R F prime, and then just U two R prime U two R prime F R F prime. So this one was a 136, by the way, and here you see this red, so that's kind of what stuck out at first. And then I was kept trying to do sort of something with this red and white here, but nothing really great was going to come out of it. I tried a bunch of different faces and stuff off it, and nothing was really coming out great. So I did the little more obvious case here of something like this, four moves to this nice EG1 case. Now, it really wasn't that great of a scramble because um, even though it was a nice case there was still a lot of AUF and then it's a weird angle to start it out since it's like to hold it from the correct angle you'd have to do like L moves so to execute it I kind of did an F prime and then like an R2 F prime R to set it up and then um, just solve the EG1 case from there. Okay, so for the third scramble, what I did was a red EG1 face uh, with bar on the back. So what I did was something like this, and then a U2, and a very easy EG1 case, like so, with a U prime AUF. On the fourth scramble, I saw that on blue, you could do three moves, and then you get this EG2, which I usually do anti CLL for. And then on green, there's a four move face into uh, e another EG2 case, and I don't think it's that great in this case. And then something I eventually noticed, which isn't as easy to see, is on 
orange there's a three move layer by doing u2 r2 f prime and then you get this seal which isn't too great but it can cancel into it and there's no af so i think it's pretty good so the full solution would basically be from here you can do u2 r prime u r prime u2 f prime and then just r u prime r prime f So in this one, we have this blue here, and you can do three moves to EG2, but it really wasn't going to be that great, I thought. So I kept trying some other stuff that wasn't working out well, and so I also was trying to create some bars. And like on green, the easiest bar you can do is doing this um, double move there, which creates a green-red bar. And then from there, um, I was kind of looking at it from the angle of doing something like yeah so if I hold it like this and do it F2 I get this EG um, at left EG1 here and then these were the two moves left I had to do to get to the case and so I could actually cancel into the algorithm so it was um, it was a pretty fast solve for that scramble Okay, so for the fourth scramble, what I did was a three move EG2 face on blue. Um, this, the EG2 case I would get is pretty easy, but I forgot it since, um, you know, I don't really do two by two that much at least. And uh, so I just solved it like this. And then I just did this anti CLL and a UAUF. I got a 2.56 on it, which is really bad for me. What I could have done better is um held it like this and did a three four move um blue eg1 face with bar on the back like so into this eg1 algorithm with a u, u a u f For the fifth scramble, the main thing I saw was on green, you can do five moves into this seal, but the setup isn't too great in this case. And then you can also like make a face in like eight moves, but it's really easy to one look and it's pretty finger tricky, but it didn't end up working out too great in this case. So then something else I saw was on orange, you can do five moves and then you get an EG2 case and then you can cancel into it. So basically the full solution would be like, from here, you can just do U, R prime, F prime, and then just cancel into the rest of the L. You just do R prime, F, U prime, R, U, R2, and then just do U, A, U, F. So there was nothing really great on green, even though it was the most obvious thing to look at. And then from there, I was experimenting with some stuff on white, making some layers there, but it wasn't turning out that great. For blue here, I saw you could do three moves um, to an EG1, but it wasn't the best case. So I was playing around with doing an R move and stuff before I set up the blue face, because every time I do that, it's gonna give me a new case, since none of these pieces are blue here, I could move it around freely and kind of get some different results. And so, um, what I ended up doing was an R2, F prime, U2, R prime, and it gets me to this EG1, and instead of the R prime at the end, I, um, or instead of this at the end, I cancelled into the algorithm there. So it wasn't the easiest to turn on, um, which is why it was not that fast, but um, it was a decent solution. For the fifth scramble, what I did was a green CLL layer. So I solved it, I held it like this, and did a U2F and solved it like this, and then just a nice soon case with no AUF. I got a 2.34 on this, which is pretty bad. Another solution that I could have done was a white CLL layer. So I would solve the, so I could have solved this corner into the back like so, and solved this here like so, and then I would have gotten this CLL with no AUF. That's probably objectively better, um, yeah. That's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. I think you can now clearly tell the difference between a person who knows just CLL and EG1 
and people who know multiple ALG sets with AUF for a lot of the cases. They get faster times and their solutions are also more efficient, complex, and smart. If you like this video, don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, guys. Till next time, bye.